Welcome to the Docker Container Lifecycle. Here in this tutorial, we will see how the containers are created and destroyed. We will understand the container's lifecycle with the help of an example. But before we proceed further, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any new updates and also comment down what video do you want me to make next. The container lifecycle starts with the creation of a Docker container. Docker create command helps us create a container. At this point, the container is not running. If we have to relate Docker container creation with a real life example, then think of this as a computer that is not running, so the computer is there, but it is not running. Likewise, docker create command creates a container, but the container is not running. To run docker container, we need to use docker start command. So let's create a docker container, if you want to follow along with me, and do not have docker environment ready, do not worry, and head over to docker playground and sign in with your docker id, after you sign in, docker playground will give you an environment to play with. Now on the terminal type this command to create a docker container. As you can see, Docker created a container for us, but this container is not currently running. Let's see how to run this container by using docker start command. Docker start command is like turning on the computer or a car because at this point our container is running. When the container is running our application is called to be deployed, or in other words, we can interact with the container. When the container is running it uses system resources like RAM, network etc. Now, let's go ahead and start a container. Type this command on your Docker terminal. Wait for the command to execute. Now as you can see our container is running. Docker run command is a combination of create and start. Run command pulls Docker image, if the image is not found on the system. Then it proceeds to create and start the container. Let's move ahead and see an example of Docker run command to create and start container. Type the following command on your Docker terminal to create and start Ubuntu container. Now as you can see, docker run created and started the container for us. After we create and start container, we also need to stop it. This is where docker stop comes into the picture. Docker stop will stop the execution of the container, ideally, docker stop will give around 10 seconds to close any process running inside the container. Before it completely shut down the container. Think of this as an operating system shutdown, just like it takes 10 seconds to close running programs, container also needs some time before it completely shuts down. Let's see how to stop a running container. Write this command on your Docker terminal to stop the container. As you can see the container is stopped, and to start this container again use the docker start command. The last step in the container lifecycle is to delete the docker container. After you delete the container, you will not be able to start it again. All the data associated with the container will be lost, except the data stored in volumes. Docker remove will only delete containers that are not running, to remove a running container use hyphen f in the command. Let's go ahead and try to remove a container. As you can see the container is removed.
This is how Docker container lifecycle looks like. First we create a container, then we start a container, or we can use Docker run to create and start the container for us. After the container is created we can stop the container. Stopped container can be started again using Docker start, or we can delete the container. That's it for Docker container lifecycle, make sure to subscribe and like this video, and if you have any query let me know in the comments sections.